a normal for Wednesday kids. Join me as you learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Julie, and welcome to our class. Addition of whole numbers is a basic operation that is very useful in our daily lives. We use this in counting objects, five uses of, and many more. Knowing this operation will also help us to complete our work problems that require mathematical sentences. For today's discussion, we will talk about solving word problems involving addition. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vival's Happy Homeschool program. Check this video's description to learn more. As we learn how to solve word problems involving money, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the keywords to remember in addition? Second, what is Paulia's four-step process in solving word problems? Are you ready? Come on, and let us begin our numberful journey. Let's review addition. Putting together two or more numbers is called addition. How about the parts of an addition sentence? Addends are numbers or quantities being added together. Then, the answer to an addition sentence is called the sum. Now, let's review the keywords that describe addition. Come on, and repeat after me. Total, com, increase, both, all together, sum, plus, combine, in all, add, join. Do you know that these keywords will help you in choosing which operation to perform in solving a word problem? Now, can you find the keywords that imply addition in this set of word problems? Let's try! Cindy has 300 pesos and was given by her mother an amount of 75 pesos. Michelle has 250 pesos and was given by her aunt an amount of 125 pesos. How much money do they have all together? What is the addition keyword used in this word problem? Very good. It's all together. Carissa's mom has 50 pesos. She needs 30 pesos more to buy their snacks. How much is the total cost of their snacks? What is the addition keyword in this word problem? That's correct. It's total. It is your dad's birthday. Your mother bought a tub of ice cream for 160 pesos and a cake for 300 pesos. She also bought him a shirt for 485 pesos as a present. How much did your mother spend in all? What is the addition keyword in this word problem? Awesome! It's in all. Now that we know the keywords that imply addition in a word problem, we can now start solving. Are you ready? Let's start! One of the most famous approaches in problem solving is Paglia's four-step process by George Paglia in 1945. Here are the steps to remember in solving a word problem. Step 1. Understand the problem. Step 2. Plan what to do. Step 3. Solve. Step 4. Check your answer. Now let's apply these steps in solving the word problems earlier. Let's read the word problem together. Carissa's mom has 50 pesos. She needs 30 pesos more to buy their snacks. How much is the total cost of their snacks? For step 1, let's understand the problem. Identify the given by listing down all the given information, particularly the numbers, amount, or quantity in the problem. Carissa's mom has 50 pesos. She needs 30 pesos more to buy their snacks. Then, let's identify what is asked. The question is asking for the total cost of their snacks. Can you spot the keyword use in this question? Very good. The keyword use is total. Remember that total is a keyword for addition. That means the operation that we will use on this word problem is addition. For step 2, let's plan what to do. To find the total cost of their snacks, we have to add the amount of money Carissa's mom has and the amount of money she needs more. So the equation will be 
50 pesos plus 30 pesos is equal to N, where N represents the total cost of their snacks. For step 3, let's solve. Let's add 50 and 30. In adding numbers vertically, we start with the digits on the right for the numbers in the least place value. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Then, we write the decimal point. Next, let's add the whole numbers. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So, 50 pesos plus 30 pesos is equal to 80 pesos. Lastly, for step 4, check your answer. Find out if you were able to answer the question and if it is reasonable. Take note also to write the required unit in the final answer, especially if the problem is asking for the amount of money. Therefore, the total cost of their snacks is 80 pesos. Good job! Let's have another example, kids. It is your dad's birthday. Your mother bought a tub of ice cream for 160 pesos and a cake for 300 pesos. She also bought him a shirt for 485 pesos as a present. How much did your mother spend in all? For step 1, let's understand the problem. A tub of ice cream costs 160 pesos. A cake costs 300 pesos and a shirt costs 485 pesos. Then, let's identify what is asked. The question is asking for the total cost of the things your mother bought. Can you spot the keyword use in this question? Fantastic! The keyword use is in all. Remember that all is a keyword for addition. That means the operation that we will use in this word problem is addition. For step 2, let's plan what to do. To find the total cost of the things your mother bought, we must add the prices of the tub of ice cream, the cake, and the shirt. So the equation will be 160 pesos plus 300 pesos plus 485 pesos is equal to N, where N represents the total amount of money your mother spent. For step 3, let's solve. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Then we write the decimal point. Now let's add the whole numbers. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. 6 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 14. We write 4 in the tens column and carry 1 in the hundreds place. 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. 160 pesos plus 300 pesos plus 485 pesos is equal to 945 pesos. Lastly, for step 4, check your answer. Therefore, the total amount that your mother spent is 945 pesos. You did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. The keywords to remember in addition are total, com, both, increase, sum, plus, combine, all together, in all, add, and join. These are the steps in solving a word problem. Step 1. Understand the problem. Step 2. Plan what to do. Step 3. Solve. Step 4. Check your answer. You're fantastic! I hope you have learned a lot about solving word problems involving money today. If you did, Click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also, experience national learning with Vivo's Happy Homeschool program. Just check the description box below to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Julie and see you in our next Number 4 Wednesday. Bye!